Hey everyone. Today we're going to be trying to take a look at something that I had an issue in the other day when I was trying to learn how to make ships properly. Um, and that is uh, whenever you're first making your ship and you try flying and you just start uh, arcing around in kind of like an orbit like um, flight pattern. Um, I was dumbfounded by it and I talked with uh, some other people including Archduke and he uh, told me that it was most likely like a center of gravity problem and as well as like the fact that I just made the ship a lot heavier by making it longer without really adding uh, a lot of extra thrusters to kind of compensate for that. And if you don't really want to spend all the extra money on expensive thrusters and you just want to make an extended version of a ship, or if you have made your ship and it is having some larger issues of where you can't seem to make it fly straight, this would be the video for you. So to start off, uh, to, I had to add two things to this ship that did not exist in the original hauler. This would be like my little work in progress DSI hauler plus. Um, so the two things that I had to add were the main flight computer and the flight control unit basic. And what these will do is allow us to have, they'll basically take little groups of thrusters the way we'll have it set up and make them fire at different intensities and that will artificially you know due to them one firing a little less more you know a little less strong it uh, will even you out automatically so the hauler kind of is a little easy experiment to practice this on especially is because when i click on the maneuvering thrusters this is would be the name of the thruster we're going to have to be going off of for the grouping and you'll see when we go around right here, uh, they're already all pre-named. Uh, we've got back upper, uh, back left, uh, back down, and back right. As well as the front thrusters up here just having up, down, left, and right. And then on the sides, the thrusters are right, right, and left, left. And those are for uh, the rolling. Um, with this ship, it was having a lot of issues where I would try flying and it would just start orbiting the station pretty much even if I wanted to fly it straight and if I wanted to try and force it to fly straight, it was just a, a struggle. Um, and the way you fix that is first you get the main flight computer and you'll find it in machinery and you'll find all of what we're going to be using pretty much in the first four uh, here I'm just using a basic unit because that's all I really needed for the hauler and so you get the main flight computer and you put it down and you wire it up and then you put the flight computer the uh, flight control unit down and you wire it up and you make sure this front arrow right here is pointing forward or else it's not going to work properly and right here I renamed the last part of it from I O one to main MFC and then you'll do the same here and you'll know that they worked correctly when they're both uh, when they because whenever you do it this will change from a zero to a, the same ID on both of these and um, one mistake I had because you know, I'm a very literal person and there's no real tutorial in the game and to me it would make sense if these were just kind of here for testing purposes wiring them up and uh, they're still not working even though they should be uh, make sure you have the things bolted to the ship uh, in this game uh, objects even if they're wired up properly may not want to work properly if they're not actually bolted down uh, so just duct tape them on and should start working and another way you'll know that it's working is um, once you've already set all these uh, group names on the side here, um, the numbers will auto-populate onto the thrusters. Uh, let's go back down here. And the thrusters, well, their zero will populate the same number. And that'll, that's how you'll know that the main control flight units are going to be working as designed. And what some people say that, you know, what some people do is they will uh, take what was originally here is like thruster power 01 or something like that and that's the default 
Um, you could use those as your thruster names, but it's much more organized and easy to remember if you just rename the thrusters and then rename these, whatever you name those thrusters, and then naming your thrusters off of a certain kind of like job. Um, and depending on your build, you don't really need to FCU all your uh, directions and stuff because it may not be the most optimized thing uh, to do. Uh, for example, on this uh, hauler, I only am using FCU forward. And that's because uh, when I tried to test out the FCU pitch over here, um, so I have it just as normal pitch, except it looks like it may have, this may be an error, this might be an older blueprint, so I'll just put that back in there for now. Uh, so make sure you hit enter, or else it's not going to save it. You'll know it's in there when you hit enter. If on the moves over here it says set device field, and you want to click off of it, but I only have FCU forward as the setup because that you know that fixed my issue. But whenever I put with the default groupings, uh, the FCU pitch on the pitch became like monumentally uh, slower and less tight. Um, so you'll want to kind of fine tune it, you know, play around with it because this really is tuning your thrusters. Um, you do lose some efficiency by FCUing, but it can fix uh, egregious issues for you, like the orbiting issue. And so, just to make sure you'll know that it should, the checklist to go through to make sure it's working is the you'll have the main flight commute, the main flight computer put down, bolted down, wired up, and you'll take whatever its name is. And then once you have this put down and facing forward, you'll copy its name into there and wire it up and bolt it down. You'll know that's working when the number populates. You want to group your thrusters up or set them as individual thruster groups of just by themselves and put them all in here on the left hand side. And you will know that those are working when these numbers populate in on your thrusters. And then after you do that, not letting me let go. Uh, sometimes it gets a little buggy like that. I uh, got then you just bring your properties back up. Uh, after you do that though, you'll want to come over here to your uh, levers and you'll want to uh, change their names to whatever they are called in your FCU. So instead of the standard forward just being FWD, you'll change that to FCU forward or whatever you decide to name it in the FCU. Um, I recommend just keeping it as FCU forward. And then after you get that done correctly, um, let's see. After you get that done correctly, you should be able to go into a test flight. So we hop into the flight seat, and first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your hotkeys are done correctly. Uh, FCU forward, plus and minus on shift and control, and WASD is set up. And after that, you are ready to go. Um, ship itself will fly straight now. We don't have the uh, error we were having before of it trying to orbit around the station when just trying to fly a straight line. And that's really it for this uh, troubleshooted issue and setting up your FCUs so that you can kind of like get your um, flight computer to kind of correct some of these autonomously and you're not having to fight a bend or a forced yaw or pitch on your ship. Um, that's really all for this video. If y'all like this kind of content, uh, be sure to subscribe for more. I'll be exploring different various avenues of the shipbuilding process as well as uh, some issues that I might find on my own and try if like if I figure out how to fix them, I'll post them here. That's all for now. See ya.